name is Dwayne Richards and welcome to the demonstration of Walker, UB Tech's most advanced bipedal humanoid robot ever. And were any of you here last year when walk you were? Yeah, you noticed that Walker had two legs, no arms, right? Yes, Granted, he could walk up and down stairs and kick a soccer ball, which is pretty impressive. But this version has arms and legs. And actually, just a heads up, if you saw the sign, this happened between the 230 demo and now, looks like Engadget said that Walker is a finalist for the best of CES for this year, so that's pretty cool. Get ready to be impressed, let's bring out Walker. Come on out, Walker. Here he comes. I'm just gonna move over here. Look at him, all gold-plated, he looks slick. And Walker stands at about five feet tall weighs about 170 pounds and he also has 36 of UV Tech's high-powered actuators with force, vision, audio, and spatial perception. Oh. Hello everyone, my name is Walker. Good to meet you all. Hey Walker. So as you may know, UB Tech aims to have intelligent robots in homes and businesses all over the world. And Walker's a big part of that. And if you think about it, there's lots of real potential here. He could be a concierge for a business. He could be a companion for the elderly. Or he could just be a helpful member of your household. And with that in mind, let's see what it would look like if Walker was a member of someone's household. His owner is about to come home from work. Let's check this out. Hi, Okara and Bat. Let me open the door for you. So just like a human being, Walker can interact with his environment through facial recognition. He can also has voice interaction and just by monitoring his environment. And he has a six microphone array so he can hear where the sound is coming from and who it's coming from. He also can be a a central hub for your smart home applications like lighting, which makes flight pretty easy. Hey Walker, nice to be home. Open the door. Welcome home, how's your day? It's great, thanks Walker. So Walker's backing up, his AI sees that someone's at the door, so he's not gonna like stand in front of it, he's gonna move to the side. Let me handle the bag for you. Thank you, Walker. And Walker's hands, his new hands, now can hold up to three pounds of weight in each hand, which helps you so you don't have to sweat the small stuff. Like that bag over there. All right, so Walker's owner came home from work. Rough day, his boss was riding him. You know, he's just chilling, he's reading a newspaper. Well, you guys don't read newspapers now, do you? No one reads newspapers anymore. Anyway, he has 36 powerful new actuators that are precise and quiet, and with his new gate algorithm, he's able to pull off some neat tricks. So check this out. Hey, Walker, I'm a little tired. Can I play some music? You may like this one. Yeah, so Walker can dance. He's got moves. And since we're at a tech convention, I can pretty much guarantee that he can dance better than 90% of y'all in here. Except for y'all brothers back there, I see. <laughs> I'm gonna take him to the club tonight. Yes, sir. And he can learn new moves to the app or just by monitoring his environment. But this is my favorite part of the demo, coming up right now. Thanks, Walker. Can you get me some food? Let me get you a can of Coke first. Okay, so what is the point of having an intelligent robot in your home if said robot can't get you grub? Walker can get you some grub. And again, with his, with his intelligence, he can monitor and see, like, look, he sees a door here. He knows that that door, the refrigerator door, opens up differently than the front door. So he's studying it, analyzing it, figuring out the best way to manipulate that door. He's gonna pull it instead of sliding. And then he's gonna grab the coat. And then wait, after this, 
He's gonna do something that my kids never do. This is real. Just watch, watch, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch, watch. Hold up. He closes the fridge door. Your kids don't do that. My kids don't do that ever, ever. Let me get you something to eat. Sorry, I get excited about the mundane things in life. And you can also scan objects, common objects, and figure out the best way to manipulate them. So he sees these chips. He's not going to come down at it like this. He's going to come in at the side, similar to what all of us would do when we see a can of chips like this. So he has the drink. He has the chips. And with his gait algorithm, he's able to hold things in his hands and also maintain his balance. Which is pretty impressive. Here they are. He's gonna put the drink down. By the way, Walker, he's winking. He's a very confident robot. He's, feel, he's feeling himself a little bit now because he's like, crowd likes me. He's winking at everybody. Now here's a really good part as far as like interacting with human beings. He's holding the chips and he will not let go of the chips until he knows that his owner has a firm grasp of them. Then he opens his hands. Now let's check this last part out. You'll have a date with Mary at 8 p.m. tonight. Oh, thanks, Walker. I almost thought. It's gonna rain today. You better take an umbrella with you. That's so thoughtful. Can you pay me one? Okay, so let's unpack what happened here. You can upload your schedule into Walker, and it'll tell you what's coming up. But in that moment, he said, oh, he has a hot date with Mary at 8 p.m. And then in that moment, he's like, wait, I'm gonna scan the weather. It's gonna rain tonight. So then, he goes and picks up an umbrella for his owner. Now, would your spouse do that? Well, your spouse has it anyway. Maybe be a hot day with Mary, but like, I don't want to go out with Mary. But would your kids do that? Would your roommate do that? Probably not, but Walker would. And Walker also sees the umbrella and he's figuring out the best way to manipulate it, similar to the chips. So he, ha he has the umbrella. Ready to give it to his owner? There it is. And he will not let go of that umbrella, open his fingers until he knows his owner has a firm grasp okay. of it. Goodbye. Let me turn off the lights for you. Again, he can be a central hub for your smart home applications like lighting. Walker, can I hold your hand? I feel like you and I are connected. Um, bonding a little bit. So, UB Tech aims to introduce intelligent robots to homes and businesses all over the world. Like I said, Walker is a big, big part of that. Say goodbye to the people, Walker. Thank you all. Goodbye. And that is the final demonstration for the day. We'll be back here at 10 a.m. in the morning with Walker. All right, thank you guys.